<clears throat> the rest of the argument is going to be divided into two cases. <coughs> I just blew the engineer's ears out. Oops. He's waving at me, so I think he, he saw it coming and took his headphones off. Case one, there's a maximum antechain with both up from A and down from A non-empty. All right, I want to do this on the dot cam, and then you can read that last slide more carefully. <clears throat> we are looking at the case where that's non-empty and that's non-empty. There's something down here, and there's something up here. So, if I suppress all of these points and just look at A together with up from A, I am looking at a poset which is smaller than the original one. The original one had K plus one points. Since I have taken off a non-empty subset, the poset has left has at most K points in it. What is the width of that? What is the width? It is the same as the width of the original poset because it still has the antechain A in it. So we apply the inductive hypothesis, and the inductive hypothesis says you can partition this post set into W chains. So you'll have a chain like this, a chain like this, a chain like this, a chain like that, a chain like this, a chain like this, a chain like that, and a chain like this, and you will partition the entire top part, A together with up from A, into W chains. Then what do you do? You take off the top and apply the inductive hypothesis. You have removed something from the top. It was non-empty. And now you have a poset consisting of A and down from A. That's smaller. The theorem holds for the smaller poset. So you can partition that one into W chains. And you do that. And those chains look like this. And then you uncover the page. And if you take any one of these, and take a chain and a chain and glue them together where the bottom part of one becomes the top part of the other, then that's a chain. Chain, chain, chain. Chain, chain, chain. So, there's a way to partition the whole thing into W chains. The fact that the top part and the bottom part had something allowed me to use the inductive hypothesis twice. Okay. That's case one. Label the elements of the antechain as A1 through AW. Then apply the inductive hypothesis to A union down from A, which has at most K points since up from A is non-empty. Without loss of generality, we obtain a chain partition of A union down from A with A sub I, the greatest element. And then you apply it 
to A union up from A. That's, that's, this is writing in words what we just did with pictures. Now we chain, obtain a chain partition with AI the least element. And then we just simply glue the chains together. So in the middle of this slide is where we were with the picture that I just had on the dot com. 